we are going to to have to like start to to think about how to get back to normal, how to how that's going to look, and um, if we do have to continue social distancing, right, in a significant way, how do we have entertainment value on the level and scale that it used to be, right, with athletes, but without like like that, you know, the, the type of competitions where you can really be like physically connected the way we used yeah. to be, you know? Yeah. Like, so you're, you're entering into, well, we got the horse where everyone's playing horse at their own baskets and filming it, but maybe some VR in the future. But I, before we, I, I wanted to like, just think about athletes, athletes we've talked about before, a lot of them playing that sport being with their teammates that's their sanctuary that's their escape from maybe some childhood traumas or or that's their identity they're an athlete and that's been taken away right now a lot of individuals some i think giannis even said he doesn't have access to a basketball hoop right now so imagine wow. nba players for a moment you're in the thralls of your season it's heating up yeah. as a matter of fact those those lakers and clippers and lakers and bucks games and now all of a sudden it's it's, it's canceled or it's postponed and you don't know if it's going to be canceled. And what if it starts back up in July? Like how, do, what does that look like? How do you get your, how do you adjust to that? How do you get your mind frame back into that moment when you know, when you step on that court that uh, there's no fans and I could get sick and all these, all these things going on. That's a huge adjustment. So yeah. I think ultimately like what we talked about, mindfulness, gratitude, trying to keep as consistent and scheduled, scheduled as possible is how you, how you get through this control the things you can control but athletes aren't immune to this they're they're maybe even more at risk because they can't they can't play their sport from home necessarily i mean i think devin booker just won the nba 2k tournament uh, uh-huh. the, with the video games i think he beat his teammate deandre ayton but that's not the same as actually getting out there no of course not of course not but i mean you know these are the kind of things we have to rethink reconsider um i mean perhaps like you can envision a virtual form of of a devin booker type player or uh a deandre ayton type player right and the these virtual like avatar like characters are being controlled by the players right um so they're thinking obviously their minds would be you talk about that Black Mirror episode, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, the, so the player is thinking the way they would normally think, but they're not using their body. They're using this avatar's body, right. like this virtual representation I, of them. I mean, I think we'll see that in our lifetime for sure. That'd be interesting, right? Yeah. Um, but because, like, you, like you know, the cool thing about the avatar concept is we we'll have to worry about like players' injuries. You know, I mean, players you could obviously like fix injury, and the injury thing wouldn't have to be a thing you know, unless we built it into the code. We'd have competitions with much less confounding factors influencing the outcomes. But the, con- the confounding factors, that's what everyone talks about. Uh, half of sports talk is about a blown call a ref made yeah. or about someone being unable to finish in the clutch. Um, so I don't, it's, I'm not sold on that idea yet, but that's something that needs to be discussed. Yeah. Yeah, we have to continue the conversation yeah, on that one. Oh, for sure. I like it, though. Uh, that's, I think that's a future podcast episode. But I, I think yeah. for us, we're, me and you, we're definitely going to see a lot more sleep disturbances, we're a lot more anxiety, a lot more sadness, more in- substance use. We've already seen, seen that a lot more. Um, changes in behavior. I think we're going to see a lot more like pent up frustration. These, this is what we're going to have to witness as mental health professionals. We're going to see adjustment disorder, like you said, PTSD major depression, acute stress disorder. Um, we're going to see it all. We're going to see increases in this and, and we're going to be here to, to, to try to help um, restore some normalcy. There's no try. Do or do not. <laughs> Classic. All right. All right, man. There's um, no try. Let's see. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we wrap this bad boy up? And there's just always so much to talk about, you know, just so a little time in the day, um, you know, so I guess we're just going to have to, you know, try to end the stigma. And continue the conversation. Yeah. Do you feel yeah,
Alright, okay.